death, I will not go astray. Let us pray. Most close and everlasting God. The one God that every knee and every tongue, every tongue shall bow and shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. The one who touched us early this morning yes. and allowed us to get up and get on our way. Yes. The one who touched us and given us another opportunity to get it right. Yes. The one who can do anything but fail. Oh God, we come this morning calling upon your precious name because there's no other name on the heaven that we shall call upon. And as we call this morning, Lord, we, we send out a, a blessing for all the mothers around the world, oh God, for this Mother's Day. But oh God, it come remind me that this Mother's Day is just a uh, drop in the bucket because Mother's Day is every day of the year, oh God, yeah. and a mother work is never done. Lord God, I'm coming this morning and asking you to touch his mind and each heart, Lord. Those that didn't have physical children, Lord, but those that who taking care of children but not their own, but lack they were their own. Yes. Oh Lord, we need you this morning. Yes. We need you to come into this sanctuary this morning and have your way with it, Lord. Yes. Teach us, touch us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Allow us to feel your spirit, Lord. Yes. Mm -hmm. Allow us to receive something that's coming from on high this morning, Lord. For the word is going to come, Lord. May it fills our heart that we may go away with something from the service this morning, oh God. Yes. Oh God, we need you this morning because uh, every time we turn on the news, Lord, that's killing. Yes. That's killing. And more killing. Yes. All around us, oh God, in our neighborhood, in our home, in our family, in our churches, in our mm. government, oh God. We need you this morning, God, because we have lost our mind. Mm -hmm. Done everything but what you called us to do. Mm. Oh God, we got sickness. Sickness is rising on every side. Every time we look around, somebody is sick, dying is almost a common thing anymore. Every time we look around, somebody done passed away. Mm -hmm. We need the Lord because we can't do it by ourselves. Mm -hmm. We need your strength. We need your blessing. Yes. Oh God, come this morning as only you can do. Pour your spirit out of us. Bless us with your Holy Spirit this morning, God. Those that are sick, we pray for the sick, shut in, and needed at home. Pray for those that have less than what we have, God. Yes. There's so many that have less than we can, what we have. There's so many that got up this morning, didn't have a roof over their head. So many that got up this morning, didn't have food in the refrigerator. Clothes to put on their back. Yes. We, we, we call on you this morning. Yes, Lord. And bless us, Lord. Bless his mind and his heart. Bless those that wanted to come, but just wasn't able physically to come, oh God. Yes. Bless them wherever they are, oh God. Yes, God. Sick with Brother Larkin. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Yes, Lord. A faithful member of this church in Sunday school, oh God. Yes. He needs you right now, God. Yes. He needs you to touch his mind and touch his heart yes. and strengthen his body, Lord, so he can. Get back to Sunday school. Get back to church, yes. Lord God. Yes. Not only him, but the rest of the sick to shut in and the congregation. Lord, we pray for each one of them this morning. Yes, sir. Spread them in. Yes, Lord. Heal them. Yes, Lord. We need you this morning, God. Yes, Lord. We need you, especially this morning, Lord God. Yes, God. Because <coughs> if we don't have as much time as we think we do. Mm. Time is winding down. And Lord, help us to make the best of time. And we come this morning praying for the sick, shed in me and the home. Yes. It's in Jesus' precious name that we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen.
Hey, ain't no raise for him today. <laughs> oh, God help us today. God, it's so good to see you. Our scripture lesson is found in the book of uh, in the book of now, Randy, check and du double check. The She's going to give me her email, and I'm going to send her another direct link. Well, hallelujah. All right, then. Well, it's too late on the raid. I hope you get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, pal. I'm all right. <laughs> but sometimes Zoom does its own thing. I don't know oh, what they're well, doing. Well, you know? Well, well, well. You know it's Chinese, so. Well, yeah, I'm going to that. The Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 1, verses um, 26 through 38. Uh, and the Gospel of St. Luke, uh, chapter 2, verse 19. I didn't print them all. Uh, do when I print off all those scriptures, do y'all take them home and read them? Or do y'all just throw them in the trash? Because that's a lot of printing. I was looking at the printer yesterday when I was finishing up and it was saying low heat, all that print, all that paper. Everybody close your eyes, close your eyes. Now, those who read that, uh, 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 raise your hand. Can't nobody see with me. One, two, three. I'm on. Well, I'm sorry. I apologize for not. I'm going to do it next week. I didn't do it today because I saw the printer. The printer was said low ink and I print off all that stuff and I, I said to myself, it, it is a waste of my time, paper, and money if ain't nobody reading this stuff. Amen? Amen. But, but if you're reading it, it makes it all makes it all worthwhile. In Luke chapter 2, verses 26 through 38. Luke chapter 1, starting with verse 26 through verse 38 and chapter 2 verse 19. Amen? Amen. Amen. Luke chapter 1 verse 26. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled <laughs> at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son. And you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be? Mary asked the angels, since I am a virgin and have never been intimate with a man. The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come on you. Power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. <coughs> Even your <coughs> excuse me, relative, even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. 
May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. Now flip over to chapter 2. Luke chapter 2 and verse 19. Amen. Amen. But Mary, well, let me back up and put 16 in there. Well, let me back up and catch 15. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. <laughs> and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them. Where? Where did she ponder them? In her heart. In her heart. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. From all that dwell, be Lord.
sometimes this thing doesn't do what we want to do. Oh, all right. Uh, but I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna send it again. I'm gonna keep working on it. Service will be open. I think I, if this will cooperate, we'll get it done. Uh, my God. My, 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 my. Amen. You take the letter in. It's not, you know, I'll send her to him. I'm oh, going to send her directly. Oh, I want to yeah. preach this morning. Thank you, those who have come to be with family, who have honored family, mothers, and come to be with them today. Amen. 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 Now, as I look toward Mother's Day, Look back, I've been preaching for Brother Clarence. I've been preaching almost as long as as many birthdays as you may have. I've been preaching for 50, almost 55 years. That's almost as many birthdays as you may have. And as I thought about it, I thought only one Mother's Day that I preached a Mother's Day sermon that was halfway acceptable to me. <laughs> one time in 55 years. That's kind of pitiful, ain't it? Huh? That's kind of pitiful. So my track record for Mother's Day sermons Brother Bonner, Brother Bonner, that ain't a very good track record, Brother Bonner. Brother Bonner said he ain't never preached and he could do better than that. <laughs> ain't that what he said? Amen. Brother Bonner didn't say that, I said that. Amen. Amen. So I, as the old preachers used to say, I solicit an interest in your prayer. We're going to try to get my wife. I am, I am. I don't know what this thing is going. I solicit an interest in your prayer. Amen. Amen. And I've only been married for 46 years. Almost 46. So if my wife wasn't there that one time that I preached about Hannah, uh, then my wife had never heard me preach an acceptable mother's day. That's kind of poor, ain't it? Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> even, even Rev Chapman say that's, that's poor preaching. That's poor. Rev Chapman say she could do better than that. Pray that the Lord will visit us this morning. Amen. 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 If I was one of those big, big preachers, I'd, I'd bring me a, a towel as big as a beach towel, Sister Vicky. Sister Vicky, if I wanted, and then I'd throw it up in the air and catch it. I'd throw it up in the air and catch it on the way down, and then whether I preached or not, y'all would be, oh, he sure preached this morning. <laughs> whether I preached or not. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yeah. But I, I don't, that may tickle ears, but that seemed more like counterfeit preaching to me. <laughs> Amen. Amen? And so I don't go in for all of that. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to use those passages that were read from the Gospel of Luke. And the subject that the Lord has given me is treasures and troubles in the heart of Jesus' mother. Mary was troubled when told by the angel Gabriel that she 
she was to be the mother of Jesus. She was troubled about that. Amen. 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 That may have been the opposite reaction for so many of us. Amen. Amen. Mary was troubled. Troubled. And when the shepherds had visited the manger and were eyewitnesses of the birth of the promised baby, the baby promised by the angel to Mary. And the shepherds reported back and Mary got wind of what the shepherds had said. Mary about the baby. Mary treasured those things said about her baby and she had a place in her heart where she pondered and kept trying to assign some value, trying to understand, trying she kept trying she kept trying to define the value of this motherhood thing of her son and to figure out to understand to wrap her mind around this motherhood thing of her child amen Mary, a virgin, a righteous woman. Mary, the mother of Jesus, was troubled about prospective motherhood. Mary was. And yet Mary treasure in her heart the possibilities, the potentialities of motherhood of her son. Mary, the mother of Jesus, was not perfect. She was not a perfect mother. Jesus was a holy child and a perfect child, but Mary was not. The, the, the. When I had my cataract surgery, the problem that I was left with was glare, driving. These are not sunglasses. The, I'm not trying to be cool. <laughs> They, 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 Bruce, these were prescribed. These are prescribed to deal with glare. Amen. Driving and sun and light. I, I, I would surmise and submit that the mothers under the sound of my voice who like Mary were both, who both treasured the possibilities of motherhood and yet were troubled about the idea of the level of responsibilities and obligations that had been placed upon them, upon them. This week, uh, I, I have a picture of my mother in my bedroom. And this week I've been looking at that picture more and more. Any of you, any of you know what I'm talking about? I, um, 
I finally realized and have some comprehension of what folk mean whose mothers are no longer here on this earth and yet they say I, I was talking to mama the other day. <laughs> Can y'all do that? <laughs> when you can't pick up the phone and call them on the phone and yet you were talking to them. I was talking, my, my mother went home to be with the Lord on March the 20th of 2020, but I was talking with her more and more this week. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. Does anybody know what I'm talking about this morning? Sure. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what I would not have done, I just heard her talking back to me. Mary, 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 the mother of Jesus, had treasures and troubles and trials and tears about the pending possibilities of her motherhood who was described to her by an angel and described to her by an angel that he was to be nothing less than a holy child the son of God Mm. Mary, the mother of Jesus, had troubles, treasures, trials, and tears about the pending possibilities of her motherhood, of that holy child, the son of God. I remember when my first child, the son was born, all, all we wanted <laughs> was average and normal. <laughs> we wanted five fingers on each hand, five toes on each feet. We just wanted regular. We just wanted normal. We just wanted Mary, Mary had treasures. Mary's child was, was a holy child. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not average, but holy. holy. Right. Not regular, but perfect. Yes. Not usual, but unusual. Right. Right. The Son of God. And yet, Mary Treasures, trials, and tears mm -hmm. about the possibilities, the obligations, mm -hmm. the burdens, mm -hmm. the blessings, yeah. the ups, mm -hmm. the downs, the unknown. God help us today mm -hmm. of her pending mother to motherhood of that perfect, precious, prince of peace, holy child. In fact, after what appears by a casual reading of the scriptures to have been the untimely death of Joseph, Mary's husband, Mary was left as the single mother, female head of household by herself. Lord have mercy. What that must be like trying to 
to raise a child all by, with no help. Mm. I know I was a handful for my mother, but my mother had her mother. Friend, Mary, that, nah. Anybody read about Mary's mother in the We read about she had a sister named Mary. Mary was such a common name back then. One out of four Palestinian Jewish women were named Mary. It's sort of like Tamika and Shaquika and Maliko and all them names. <laughs> Y'all know what I be talking about. Amen? Amen. Mary was such a common name, and she had a sister, Mary, married to Clopas, but, 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 but her mother was not there at the birth of her first child to help her through the labor pain of birth. Right. Joseph was there, but Joseph didn't know nothing about, jo Joseph could have said, I don't know nothing about birth and no baby. That line, that famous line from Gone with the Wind, that, that one Hattie, Hattie, what was her name? Huh? Huh? Megan had that one her the Oscar. Amen. All right, doctor. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. Amen. Yeah, but Joseph didn't. What, what did Joseph know about helping Mary to birth a baby? <laughs> Mother was not there. Mary, after the demise. Of Joseph had it all by herself. Luke tells us some things about Mary that Matthew doesn't tell us. And there's nothing at all about the birth of Jesus in the Gospel of Mark or the, the, the human side of it in the Gospel of St. John. In chapter 1, verses 1 through 4, of the Gospel of Luke, Luke tells us, and I quote, so many others have tried their hand at putting together a story of the wonderful harvest scripture and history that took place among, <clears throat> among us using reports handed down by the original eyewitnesses who served this word with their very lives. And Luke, the medical doctor, said, I, since I have investigated all the reports in close de detail, starting from the story's beginning, Luke says he decided that others were circulating accounts of the birth of, uh, that he decided he was going he was going to he was going to write it up himself and and print it and put it out himself. There are some biblical scholars, one in particular. Adam Bradford, who has who has postulated that uh, one of Luke's reference sources for the writing of his gospel was no less a person than Mary herself. Luke tells us things about the birth of the baby that 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 if it didn't come from Mary, it would have to come from somebody who was right there by her side. And, and so there are those who say that Luke got some of it not, 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 not from sources, um, oral and, and so forth, that, that, that derived, originated with Mary herself. Amen, somebody. Amen. <clears throat> Among Luke's motivations was that he wanted it to be, he tells Theophilus, I want Theophilus, he said, I wanted you to have a reliable. Read it just right there in the first chapter, the first couple of verses. Amen? He said, I didn't want you to just depend on rumors that were circulating. Unverified. But I wanted you to have from eyewitness accounts a, 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 a source about uh, the birth that was reliable, that was accurate. Are y'all with me this morning? Amen. Amen. Help me with your prayer, if you please. Amen. 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 Somehow Luke knows 
but apparently Matthew does not know. <laughs> Luke tells us what Matthew does not tell us about conversations between Mary and the angel Gabriel, about her pending motherhood, the birth of her son. And Luke captures some of Mary's moods and her moments that are overlooked by Matthew. I don't know, Luke was a doctor. I'm not saying he was an OBGYN, but he was a doctor. He knew some things that Matthew, who was not a doctor, did not know about this birthing process with Mary. Amen. Amen. It has been said that Mary is the single most important and significant and outstanding female in all of Christianity. And you as a mother may not feel yourself to be the single most significant outstanding personality in all of humanity about the birth of your child. But I think that there are some commonalities shared by, 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 by mothers generically with Mary to have to do with, with, with things pondered even in your hearts maybe now about when you were informed when the pregnancy test was confirmed about pending possibilities some treasures no doubt some troubles no doubt trials that you've been through and some tears that you may have shed. Have I got a witness in this house? Yes. yes. I was talking to someone the other day and, and something came up about their children and, and, and she told me that somehow how many children she, she said I have two children she said, I had a miscarriage when I was in high school. And another miscarriage later on. I remember that my daughter, Bethany, my youngest daughter, who is a surgeon, shared with me, she said, that a lot of women wait two months after they've been told about their pregnancy before they say anything to anybody about it for fear of miscarriage. What a woman must go through dealing with the pending possibilities mm -hmm. of mother. What treasures must she have in her heart? Mm -hmm. What trouble Amen. Amen. 
We don't ask Mary when we find ourselves in trouble. We don't ask Mary to intervene with Jesus on our, with God on our behalf. We don't call on Mary to come help us. We don't do that. Amen. Amen. We don't put her up in time. As our Catholic friends do. When I was a supervisory chaplain, a chief of chaplain in the VA, one of the chaplains I supervised on my staff was a Catholic priest. And I remember his frequent utterances <laughs> in, 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 in hot situations or stress. Uh, one of his frequent utterances that seemed to come from out of nowhere. Jesus, Joseph, and Mary. Jesus, Joseph, and Mary. I had, I had to tell him one time, we don't, we don't need Joseph and Mary. Just, just Jesus. Just call on right. Jesus. Right. Jesus can handle it all by himself. Right. He doesn't need Joseph and Mary. Right. <laughs> oh, God. Help me. Help me, Jesus, today. That's who we call on. I just call. That's who. Don't you call on it? Yeah. I call on it. Yeah. Sometimes we even call him Sweet Jesus. Right. Mary's baby. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. We, 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 we don't be calling on Mary. Mm -hmm. We do believe in the virgin birth. We, 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 we are not going to go all off into that. Amen? Amen. Uh, no, ain't going there. Ain't going there. Ain't going there. Amen? We, we, you know, we don't, we don't say Jesus was the only child, Mary. We, we read scriptures. We, we, we read Mark 3 and John 7. We know Jesus had half-brothers and half-sisters. Amen? We don't go there. I ain't going there. Amen? Amen? We don't have to make up things to make Mary more holy than Mary was. Hmm? And put her soul, disconnect her from travail treasures, trials, tears that are commonalities about motherhood. Amen? Amen. Amen. Put her so far up that she is out of reach, untouchable and untouched by troubles, trials, tears, and treasures of motherhood. Amen? Amen. We, we don't have to make Mary unreal, mm -hmm. unhuman. Mm -hmm. We don't call on her to get us out of trouble. Amen? Amen. Amen. We, we, we don't have to make things up about Mary to make her more than she was. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been to a funeral and hope make the dead person better than they were when they were a living person? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Make them, you ever know, the, hmm? Oh, yes. When I die and you come to my funeral, don't, the first thing, I hope they don't let you say nothing. <laughs> 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 Ain't nothing you say gonna get me in and ain't nothing you say going to keep me out. Amen? <laughs> but if you dare, and somebody else has said, don't, don't, don't make me better when I'm dead than I was when I was alive. Don't make me bigger when I'm dead than I was when I was alive. Ain't no need to all of that. We don't have to make up things Amen. to make Mary 
better than she was, or bigger than she was. Amen? Amen. We don't have to do that. This motherhood thing for Mary and for others is a two-edged sword. A two, are you with me this morning? Amen. Amen. It's a two-edged sword. It's a two-edged sword. Women as mothers go do things that we as fathers. don't realize, don't know, and we right there on the scene. Amen. Sometimes. My wife told me one time, she said, I read these children all by myself almost. <laughs> any, any women feel like that? Any other women feel like that? Huh? I did working. I'm trying to make my, my, my trying to make sure they had what I didn't have. Amen. Amen. And the thing I wanted and needed was the presence. And I'm giving you everything but presence because I'm out here trying to work two jobs, three jobs sometimes, trying to give them money that I didn't have to do things I and and and, 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 and leaving all that load. Help me somebody now. And I think thinking I'm doing such a great job. Uh, Man, I'm making all this money and giving all this money to your family and they ought to be happy and they ought to be satisfied and me making all these. But what they wanted was presence. Yeah. Yeah. What did they want, groups? Presence. Huh? Be there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did they want? Presence. What did they want? Presence. Brother Curry, what did they want? Don't make the mistakes that I made. Well, y'all, y'all, y'all beyond that turn in the road. Woo! Please don't make the mistakes that I made. Initially, when the angel Gabriel visits Mary and informs her about her pending pregnancy, conception of the child who is to be perfect, the Son of God, he greets her. Greetings! You are highly favored with God. Luke tells us Mary is troubled. Gabriel proceeds to tell her, uh, Mary asks for an explanation. Hey, me, I, I, I have not been intimate with a man. Uh, I know enough about the birds and the bees that I know that 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 that, that none of that has transpired with me. Mary wants Gabriel to make it make sense. And she questions Gabriel, how can this be since I am a bird? When Gabriel explains it to her, she surrenders. She sacrifices. She gives up her life yeah. and she said, I am the. Any mother made sacrifices in here today? Amen. <laughs> to make sure. Huh? Any mother made sacrifices. I remember one day I'm a grown man and it got me in over my head trying to have a status symbol to make it look like I was doing better than I was and couldn't make ends meet. And and my mother heard about it and she, you know how how how, how those older women used to wrap up money in those old handkerchiefs. Anybody know about that? Y'all don't know nothing about that, do you? Amen. And my mother came to see about me. She brought those handkerchiefs, a uh, head start, with, right. and, and she didn't have no real job, didn't have no, but she wrapped it up and came to see about me and try to get help me get me out of the trouble that I had gotten myself into, trying over my head, trying to be better than I was, trying to make somebody else think more of me than, than I actually was. Mm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Troubles, treasures, trials, tribulations, tears. Mm -hmm. 
for a perfect child. <coughs> when they take the baby Jesus to the temple, when he was about 40 days or so, according to the law of Moses, you know, they had to redeem the firstborn male. They go up to the temple at Jerusalem and take the child and, and baptize your baby. And if, uh, and if you got children, ask them to baptize your grandbabies. Amen. Uh, it, it was according to the Moses, the Mosaic law that the firstborn male had to be redeemed. They went through a whole lot of other stuff that I don't have time to go into. But Simeon, an old prophet, was still hanging around the temple and and, and he had the Holy Spirit moving, still moving in his life. And, and Luke tells us that when, when Mary took and Joseph took Jesus up to the temple, just an infant of 40 days or so old, that, that Simeon uh, took that the had been promised by the Lord that the, the Lord would let him live long enough that he would see the consolation of Israel. He would see the promised Messiah of Israel. And Simeon takes the baby Jesus up in his arm when he is brought there for, 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 for to redeem the firstborn, for redemption of the firstborn man. He says, now, Lord, let us thou, thy servant, I'm ready to die. Let me depart in peace. Well, I have seen the salvation uh, the consolation, the salvation of your people Israel. Yeah. And, and he says some things. He didn't say them so much to Joseph. He said to Mary. He said, this child shall be for the raising of many in Israel. And this child will be like a sword that will pierce your own heart, Mary. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Pierce. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This child had a destiny. This child is going to fear your heart with treasure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's a two-headed sword. Yeah. Go on and come. Woo! Anybody got children like that? God, all of them are like that. Amen. Every last one of them. Are y'all still with me? Amen. Amen. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I'm just telling you what Mary went through. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm just telling you now. So don't put Mary up yonder. Don't put, don't put her way up there. Understand her. Collaborate with her. Connect with her. And if you got a mother still living, talk to her. Don't don't wait till she's gone and wish you could talk to her. Like I've been in my bedroom looking at her picture, wishing I could talk to mine this week. Amen. 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 All right. Hallelujah. All right. Mm. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Mm. Another time in that same time. I'm almost finished. That would be just a minute. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just talking about Mary. I'm just talking about Mary <laughs> and motherhood. Yeah. That's all I'm trying to do. And her troubles in her heart, and her treasures in her heart, yeah. and her triumphs and her tears. Another time with this perfect baby. When he was 12 years old, you know what he did? Yeah. They went up to Jerusalem to the temple for Passover and. Bar Mitzvah, Jewish males, the, the line of demarcation for uh, young adulthood. Bar Mitzvah, age 12, a child of the community. Um, uh, uh, Jesus was 12, and so rather than go back, <laughs> you remember when, I remember when it just hit me. I remember when one day it seemed like in the mall, my children, were, uh, you, you walk with them in the mall, uh, and you hold their hand, trying to protect them. People. One day, did they just fall? And then, it seemed like the next week, you reach out for their hand. <laughs> and they, they, they think they say, well, they don't want any, they don't want their little buddies and friends to see them walking through the mall. Anybody been through that? Amen. Right. 
rites of passage. Rites of passage. Jesus, when he was 12, he didn't, he didn't go back to Nazareth with the family like he did the year before when he was 11, when he was 12. He stayed around in the temple and, and they find out after they had traveled for a couple of days, he wasn't in the group. Mary upset, nervous, anxious, weary. They find him in the temple and she's upset with Jesus, distressed, worried about him. <laughs> and she says to him, how could you do this to your father and me? We worried about you, upset. Somebody could have taken you away from us and we would have never seen you again. Jesus calmly retorts to her, didn't you know that I would be in my father's house? And I must be, he grown now, 12 years old, he think he grown. <laughs> Amen, somebody. Amen. 13, and thinks she ought to be wearing lipstick and short dresses and, and stand up on Write some passage. Write some passage. Mary went through something with Jesus. She went through something. Twelve. And then, and then, I'm almost there, almost there, almost there. When he was about 30 or so, his first miracle, he wasn't quite 30. Sure enough, think he's grown now. They go to a wedding. The family is invited in the little at Cana of Galilee, a little small community. And Negroes drunk up all the wine, boy. <laughs> they drunk up all the wine. I don't know if the family couldn't afford any more wine. If the if the wedding budget ran out, I don't know. But 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 in that day, folk would just talk about you, laugh at you, give you a bad name, and if you didn't have enough wine. And so when the problem develops and Mary finds out about it, Mary says uh, she goes to Jesus and she said she says to her son. They, they have no more wine. And he said, what is, what is that to me? Well, he didn't get too sassy. You reach that point where she's still mama, you know, still daddy, still a parent. And, and, and so then Mary had by then reached the point that she knows something about it. She knows this boy is different. He's my son, but there's something else going on. He's working out some things for himself. He's going some places I can't go. He can do some things I can't do. He came through me, but he didn't just come to me. He's ready to be launched out into the world. She says to the servants, to the folk who have drink up all the wine, she says to them about the problem that they've discovered. She says, whatever he tells you to do, do it. Don't ask him no questions. Yeah. Don't ask him how he's going to make it happen, that which you want to make happen. Whatever he says to you, do it. Do it. She says that. Why does she say that? Because she's seen something in yeah. Why does she say that? Because she knows something about it. Yeah. Why does she say that? Because she's come to believe in him. Why does she say that? Because she's become a fan of him. Why does she say that? Because she has faith in him. Why does she say that? Because she's a follower of him. Whatever he says to you to do, do it. Do it. Amen. Do it. And when they do it, <laughs> oh, they got more wine than they know what to do. Not only is it more wine, but it's better than that rot gut, or that, that rot gut stuff they've been drinking. <laughs> and somebody sampled it, takes a taste of it, and he said, You have saved the best for the last. Yeah. Whatever he says to you, do it. Oh! Yeah. Yes. If you follow him, you'll discover he saves the best for the last. Yeah. 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 That's right. Mm. Your children ever do anything? I'm, I'm, I'm finished now. Your children ever do anything that make you feel like they lost their man? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Mary's child did. He did. Mark 3. 31 or so. Jesus was preaching, teaching, healing a lot of folk. Crowds. <laughs> you know, Jesus gave them fish. And 5,000 men so you start passing out fried chicken and fried catfish and food be coming from everywhere. <laughs> they show up, Ms. Larkin. They show up. They show up too on a mule, Ms. Larkin. <laughs> so many folk crowd. They start saying he's out of his mind. He's crazy. He's lost his mind. Mary said, I'm going to see by my child. She goes to get him. So when your children do things that make you feel like, oh, they lost their mind. Don't, don't, don't let the crowds tell you who your child is. Yeah. Stop you from supporting your child. Stop you from loving your child. That's part of the treasures the troubles, the trials, and the tears. And the tears. <laughs> Mary did not get away from it. You ain't, I, we ain't. Mary, the mother of Jesus, had her troubles, her treasures. <laughs> The trials, the tears. And yet, that sister hung on in there. Amen. Yes, she did. She follows him. Mm -hmm. She sticks and stays with him. How long does she follow him? How far does she go? Well, when I look at the holy record, it says. She follows him from the crib to the cross. All right. All right. Amen. We know she was at the main of the crib. And John tells us she was at the cross. Yeah. How long does she follow? How far does she go? Well, she, she goes all the way with him. From from stand from 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 when he was the time when he was inside her womb to the time when she stood with some other women outside his tomb. Yeah. How long does Mary go with him? She goes with him from that day at his birth when there was no room. When they told her there is no room for you in the end. Yeah. But Luke in the book of Acts tells us she was still with him in Acts 1 and 14. When they told her there was room for her in the upper room. When they were tarrying, yeah. waiting yeah. on the outpouring yeah. of the Holy Spirit. And that was the birthday of his church. Yeah. How long was Mary with him? She goes with him from the time that he, she presents him in the temple as the firstborn redeemed of the Lord by the law. Yeah. But she goes with him until in the new Jerusalem he presents her as a daughter redeemed from the clutches of Satan, from the doorsteps of hell yeah. in the new Jerusalem. How long does Mary go with him? Yeah. She goes all the way with him yeah. from the doorsteps of hell till the doorsteps of heaven. How long does Mary go with him? She goes with him from time to eternity. How long does Mary go with him? She goes with him from seeing him and knowing him as her, 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 her son, to seeing him yeah. and knowing him and loving him yeah. and following him, yeah. not just as her son, 
but as her Savior, yes. as her Lord. Yes. Not only, not only, not only, not only as her Son, but as her Savior. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. As her Savior. Yes. And you are a mother. God, he may not be your son. Oh, God. But before you leave this world, make sure. Yeah. And he is your Savior. Amen. 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 Do it all. Yes, <laughs> yeah. God. Do the treasures.
Please, please. Yes, sir. We'll, we'll figure it out. Please. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Can you get the door? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do you got? Come on, brother Steve. Brother Steve. Brother Steve. Look, I'm, 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 I'm going to try to do it like I can't do it like some big preachers do. Uh, let me try one more time. Oh, I did it. I did it. Amen, somebody. <laughs> I did it. Amen. Sister Lord, I did it. I, I, I grew it up and I taught it. It ain't big as that beach style, but I, I taught it. Let us give our gifts unto the Lord. Amen. Amen. The offering to the <laughs> Just a quick word. 
And yeah. Yeah, hi. I'm I'm Mel Curry. I'm the daughter of Alfonso the Pro Curry, and I'm definitely here to celebrate Mother's Day as well as every day. Praise the Lord. Um so I try to take some time and spend some time with them as much as possible. But even more so than that, you know this pastor, I try to get them to come to Florida <laughs> instead. Not yet. One day. Though. Not yet. One day. Yeah. So I'm glad to be here uh, in the house of the Lord. Thank you for coming. I tell you what your daddy will do. Right. He'll tell me uh, in a minute. Uh, and, uh, and that river, uh, I ain't gonna be here the next couple, two, three weeks. Uh, I'm, I'm driving. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm going to Florida. Yes. Uh, to see my my children and my grandchildren. I'm gonna stop here. Uh, the old night we're gonna stop there, and I'll be back in. Now he will do that. <laughs> <laughs> and I've gotten him up to three weeks now, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for coming to be with your mother and father. Thank y'all for doing that. Appreciate it. And we'll see you next week. Yeah. 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 Talk that talk. Talk that talk. You know what that means, um, Mr. Shore. That means I'm going to go by Mama's house today and get some of Mama's cook home cooking and put my feet under that thing. That's what that means. <laughs> Did she speak for both of you? you listen to you. Thank y'all so much. Uh, God bless you. God keep you. Have a happy Mother's Day. Enjoy your families. Uh, uh, take care. God bless you. Um, uh, and uh, God be with you until we see again. We see you again. The affirmation of faith. Who's doing that? Okay. The first three. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. Conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he arose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come the third and quicken the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Church University, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. May the Lord watch between me and thee while we're absent one from another, always in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now, I don't have any roses, but I got some.